Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2022. Today we're back on the Wary Lines, and we're down in Lower Stoft. Now, uh, in the last video, uh, we did drive from Norwich through to Great Yarmouth via Akel. And I thought today, do you know what, we'll do the other section of this route. Uh, destination light, marker light, we'll just pop everything on so that we know, uh, we know what we're doing. There we go, instrument light on. There we go, and uh, we're going to Norwich, lovely. We're in 156407, which is actually the same 156 that we used in the last episode, but obviously this time we are in the far more modern Abellio Greater Anglia livery 156. Now, I don't believe that these are still here. Have these not moved? I think these 156s have moved to another company, maybe East Midlands. Uh, I can't be sure to tell you the truth. I'm not too sure where they are now, uh, but I do believe that with the influx of 755s and 745s, these have been cascaded somewhere else. If not, they are due to be imminently. Um, I know for a fact the 170s have. I think, I don't know what's happened at 153s. Have they gone to ScotRail to be converted into bicycle carriages? I don't know. It's got the same uh, National Express interior here, probably because they're not going to refurbish it if uh, if they're not planning on keeping them. But yeah, today we're down in Lowestoft. This is the extended pack by, um, or the, the update by Armstrong Powerhouse. Link in the description, which brings it up to speed. There's a few more uh, custom assets and everything. We won't get into the £5 charge, £4.99 charge for it. I discussed that in the last episode. My thoughts and feelings regarding that. But yeah, I thought we'd take a trip down this line. We're starting in Lowestoft and we are travelling all the way up here through to Norwich. Now apparently this scenario is roughly 45 minutes in length so it's a little bit longer. I just realised we've not actually, uh, there we go, <coughs> excuse me, there we go, we'll pop everything in, DRA is on, of course it's got the revised cab from the, uh, the other unit. We have actually got a green signal so we'll take the DRA off. Oh, we appear to have uh, just changed camera view and, and spawned well, yeah, let's not go into where we've spawned. There we go. So, yeah, it's going to be, hopefully, quite an easy journey. It doesn't say it's going to be a difficult journey. Are we uh, 7.35 departure? Yes, we are. We're calling it Alton Broad North, Somerleyton, Haddisco, Reedham, Cantley, Brundle. No Brundle Gardens on this one. And uh, right away through to Norwich. So, yeah, 7.35 through to 8.20. That is, well, that is exactly 45 minutes, however way you look at it. Right, are we ready? I'm ready. I'm raring to go. Of course, it has got the uh, the newer the newer beepy beepies, uh, the um, the newer hustle alarm, of course. Right, off we go. Let's uh, tell you what we'll do. We'll have the window down. There we go. We'll have the window down at both sides, and uh, so that we can hear the clickety clack of the uh, of the tracks as well. Oh my goodness me! Ten miles an hour. Out of uh, out of here, that's ridiculously slow. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go up to twenty, and then we'll slow back down again. And it looks like—is this some sort of thirty-seven ahead of us? I see. There we go. Uh, yeah, the uh, the joint track. I thought it'd be quite nice to hear that. And of course, the engine sounds on the one five six. I love the engines on these things. Um, you know, all the sprinters have got great engine sounds. I've always been a fan. Oh, look at that. That's a little bit perfect, isn't it? Anybody would have thought that I'd done this before, but it's that flipping long since I've driven a train out of lower stuffed. Um, I, I couldn't... Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly couldn't remember what it was like. The, the whole route in general. Oh, it's a, a DRS one. There will be many of you that will be wondering, hang on Joe, why are you driving this poxy little unit when you could be driving that 37? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, heads are gonna roll here. But I don't like the things. I've never really been that keen on the 37s, you know, and as a train spotter, y you know, that must be really distressing to hear. But yeah, I've, I've just never been a fan of the 37, really. You know, I, I don't dislike it, don't get me wrong, but I've just... I don't get excited about them, it's, you know, it's just a loco to me, it, great, you know, I can appreciate that it's, you know, it's good, Ooh, do you know what, let's have a little screenshot, you know what I'm like for a screenshot, there we go, look at that, that's brilliant, it's a typically miserable day over the, uh, over Norfolk, isn't it, really, 
It's not exactly what you call sunny. I mean, it's 7.37 in the morning. What have got here? So we, uh, we're travelling at a yellow then, uh, are we? I believe it is. Let's have a look. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Why are we... See, that signal's red. Yeah, you see, I, I <laughs> really do need a refresher on semaphores and how to drive under the sodded things. Because there's not a lot of routes that I drive on which actually have semaphore signalling. So you really do just need to really have a refresher. Like, hang on, what does that mean? Oh, hang on, this is for me. Request to pass signal at danger approved. Right, hang on. Well, I was clicking tab when... Uh, oh, it's confusing. Well, we passed the signal at danger, so hopefully, uh, you know, I mean, right, okay, so this is for the line on the right, the line on the, ah, right, no, hang on, so this means that we're carrying on straight forward, because it's higher up, it means we're carrying on the main line, we're not going to the left, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me, I wonder where that goes then, do, do we reckon that's a line? I reckon it is, I mean, it avoids Alton Broad North, do we reckon, where are we? We're up here, aren't we? Nope, that's Great Yarmouth. Do we reckon that that's the line down to Ipswich? Because there is a line from Ipswich to uh, to Lower Stoft, isn't there? And I know that because I've been on it. There we go, we'll have a... Uh, we'll just stop here. That'll do. We'll leave it in notch one. Have we got a time to be here? 7.39. Look at that. That is it's pretty much bob on, isn't it? Brilliant. Right, of course, this does have the uh, the more modern uh, beeping alarm. I, I mean, the hustle alarm is obviously door closing. I don't, it's, is it still the hustle alarm when it's opening? I don't know. Empty clue. There's, um, yeah, there's a lot that I don't know about these, uh, all this modern uh, modern gubbins that you find on uh, on this sort of traction. I remember it back when there was none of that, and when the doors opened, the, the button just lit up, whereas you can't have that now, of course, uh, due to DDA requirements. There has to be all sorts of funky little beeps, there has to be all sorts of uh, exciting things, flashing lights. I'm surprised there's not an attendant on each door, to be honest with you, but then you'd have to pay them, wouldn't you? And uh, and I know that these days, we don't want to pay any money out of these companies, these big companies, do we? We want to do everything as, as cheaply as we can, and uh, maximise... And that, that's not necessarily just consistent with the railway. That's that's across the board, isn't it? There we go. Doors are shutting. It's very shrill, isn't it? The the door closing sound. It's not as soft as it used to be. Help, oh, guards, quick, innit? Right, off we go. Three, five. I was always told that's how you drive the sprinters. Three, five, seven. Though I'm pretty sure on some of them they just whack them in, uh, whack them in notch seven and have done. There we go. We don't seem to be, as well, I don't want to jinx it, but we don't seem to be suffering from the same wheel slip uh, problems that we had in the last video. Maybe it's summer. I mean, this is a typical British summertime, isn't it? With the with the fog, the... It's not really foggy, it's just cloudy and miserable, isn't it? Cloudy and dull. Righty, I was straight up to speed, please. I like as well, I don't know if this is just this route or if they all do this and I've just not noticed it, but can you see how the, the train's jolting about, isn't it, as we're going along? It kind of makes you feel a bit motion sick, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, it, it jolts about, and I don't know if it does this on every route or if this is the very lines that only that does this and if it is it's absolutely brilliant and we don't seem to be on uh, on joint track here do we but yeah it's good how it kind of bobs you about it's it's nice it's a bit of a weird shaped uh, kind of a bit of a sharp corner and then goes back out again let's uh, let's see can we have a, a nice picture here There we go, look at that. Beautiful stuff, very nice indeed. It's a lovely run, isn't it, the Wherry Lines? I, I am a big fan of these. I mean, it's it's fairly dull. You know, I, I, 
Yeah, heaven forfend. You know, ooh, Joe doesn't like the wary lines. No, I do like the wary lines, but, you know, as a passenger, there's not really an awful lot to see out of the window, is there? It's quite flat, Norfolk. I mean, I did say that in my last video as well. It's, um, you know, like, for instance, if you got a class 185 across the Pennines, you know, over through uh, Mosley, Greenfield, Marston, Slough it. There's a lot of hills, there's a lot of nice scenery. If you get a, uh, a Pendolino up the west coast, there's a lot to see, isn't there? You know, it's, ooh, aha, you know, lots of pretty mountains. Um, well, uh, would you say mountains? Maybe hills. Lots of pretty hills, whereas down here it's just, yeah, there's a field there. Oh, look, a bush. Oh, another field. Oh, hang on, look, over there. A row of hedges. Oh, hell, what happened there? You know, but it's, um... So, yeah, it's, it's not exactly like there's an awful lot to see. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the likes of the swing bridges. Um, you know, there's a couple of little swing bridges dotted about on the route, isn't there? Is it Summer Layton that has the swing bridge? I'll just go read him, can't they, Rumble? I think it might be Summer Layton. Yeah, because we go to 30 mile an hour afterwards, don't we? See, I remember the old 156 where you could, um, I don't know if it was before the Amstrad Powerhouse version, but you could just literally, or it might even be the 170 I'm thinking of, but there was one of them, you could just leave it in notch 2, and it'd hold it at 59.7 miles an hour, which was absolutely brilliant for the wherry lines. When you're on the flat, bobbling along at 60, it was brilliant. Whereas this, you're having to actually go notch 2, notch 3, notch 2, notch 3, up and down the, uh, up and down the, the power notches just to keep it at 60. Heaven forfend, Joe's moaning because he actually has to drive the train. He can't just sit there gazing out the window. There we go, we'll, we'll start braking for Summer Layton. I would assume that uh, that whistleboard is for the crossing. Of course it is. Right, there we go. AWS. Bit of step two because we're uh, coming in a little bit quick. Step 1 brakes don't seem as good on the 156 as they do on, uh, say, the likes of the 150. The 150 seems to brake a lot better. Fantastic stuff. Let's just make sure we stop at the S-board. I wonder why we don't use the whole of the platform. I mean, we're, we're not using the S-board, really, are we? We're a, a little bit past the S-board, but never mind. There we go. We'll have, a, have another screenshot. I always like to take a few screenshots. This mouse is absolutely knackered. Look, when I'm scrolling down, it's scrolling in and out. promise I'm not doing that uh, deliberately there. I could really do with ordering another one. Oh, there's so many expenses, and there's always something that needs buying. When you think, oh, I might just have a month of not spending money, you know, and just catching up on everything that needs to be paid. And then, oh, by the way, I've, I've, I'm surprised boiler ain't broken yet. That's all we need. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, in the green hoodie. If you could just stand back, please. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, you've, you've missed your train, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry you, you... Oh, we've hit his arm. I mean, hell, if that's not a PTI incident, platform train interface incident, I don't know what is. And as, as a responsible driver, I kind of feel like I should stop, but, you know. Unlike in real life, where you can stop, yell at the person, and then uh, carry on your merry way, I imagine he's just going to stand there. Oh, hang on. Zoom out, please. Zoom out. There we go. So I think that this is where... I think we were in a boat here, you know, and we went for a walk somewhere down here. And a, a 170 went across. In fact, I'm pretty sure we were walking kind of round here. Oh, hang on. 
Because, yeah, this really does look the part of where we were. But there was a 117 1 operated by National Express. Oh, sod it. Let's just open the taps. It doesn't matter, does it? We've got, uh, we've got ticks for everywhere so far. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it was. But I can't remember, truth be told. I really can't remember. Right, full steam ahead then, through to Haddisco, which is uh, just over a mile away. It's a shame that this doesn't have like a Trensim World, Trensim World esque kind of a feature to it, isn't it? Um, the like you can have scenarios A to B, and then when you get to B, it kicks you out of the scenario. I would quite like it to be a bit like. I never thought I'd say this, but I, you know, Trends in World 2 does have its good points. You know, it's not as good as this game. It never will be as good as this game. Let's face it. I have very little hopes that it. Or very little kind of. What's the word? I, I have very little confidence that it will ever be as good as this game because this is fantastic. But I do like with Train Sim World 2 how you can drive a train from A to B and then you can get out, You can well, you, before you get out, you can flick your tail lights on, take your driver's key out, go down to the other end and then drive it back again. You know, and you can drive up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down until your heart's content. And then that train might actually come off that service and go do something else, you know. <coughs> I do like that. It's a bit like OMSI, isn't it? You can drive a bus route, and then you can drive a, drive it again, same bus. It's not like point to point, unlike this. And if there was one thing out of this, I wished it was similar to Train Sim World 2. That would be it, that you could drive a service, and then go drive another service. You know, you didn't have to... I mean, Armstrong Powerhouse have, have kind of done that. This is a scenario that you can buy from Powerhouse. It's 99 pence. Um, with Powerhouse being an app, I don't believe that I can put a link to it, because I don't know if it, they have it online. There we go. Right, stop at Hardisco. Oh, we didn't get the back end on quite enough. Oh, there's no wrong with that. Yeah, I should have pulled down to the S-board, never mind. I mean, to be fair, other than that tiny slither of platform, I thought we'd run out of platform. I thought we were going to overshoot, to tell you the truth. Um, but yeah, it's um, this scenario, this is part two, so you can drive this train from Norwich up to Lowestoft, and then this is part two where you can drive it back again. I mean, you have to pay 99p per scenario, but you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, be right. All right, off we go. But I wanted both uh, both ways on this. Plus, given we drove from Norwich out to Great Yarmouth yet last time, I thought we'd drive from Lowestoft back to Norwich this time. Do you see what I mean? So we've kind of done it both ways, haven't we? Did we get a nice tick for that? We certainly did. Readham, 7.58, our next stop. Now, I think it's Readham where we join on from... Uh... That's us there. Uh, yeah, it's reading where we joined the line from Burning Arms. Because obviously there's two ways that you can get from Great Yarmouth to Norwich. You can either go via Akel or you can go via Burning Arms. Um, and this is, of course, the Burning Arms run. Burning Arms being that tiny, tiny little station. It's quite famous, actually, for being just essentially... Um, well, it's, it's just literally this tiny little shack of a place, isn't it? I, mean, I wouldn't even go as far as to say it was a shack because I don't think it's, it's not got. Does it have a shelter there? I think it does, but it's absolutely tiny. You can't even fit a full carriage on. Or can you? I can't remember. I can't remember. But the driver has to stop basically a single door operation. That you can't release the doors even on a sprinter. Maybe on a 153, but obviously those days are gone. Heck, 20 miles an hour. You can, of course, hear the jointed track there. You can hear it down the train. Doesn't that sound brilliant? You can see it swaying about as well. 
let's have a look. If we, uh, if we, tell you what, we'll we'll move down here. There you go, and you'll you'll hear it coming. Doesn't that sound brilliant? It does sound absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? I really am a fan. I'm a fan of Wary Lines. You know, last time I was, I was like playing L because you have to pay four ninety nine for an upgrade. I do think it's uh, I do think it's a little bit like, well, come on. I mean, look for other simulators like, you know, I keep coming back to Omsi, but you've had the likes of there was the Gemini update for the Gemini three pack from Master Switch. They didn't make you pay again. I know you're not paying again, but you're paying a, a supplement, aren't you? You know, but there was a lot of extra features added. There was extra buses added, for goodness sake. Hybrid variants, different scripting. There was a lot added. You know, Studio Polygon, they did the Streetlight about six months ago. They did the Enviro 400 MMC. That's come out not too long ago. And neither of them have charged extra. And that's for a whole bus. This is for some extra assets for a route. You know, there are improvements. Don't get me wrong. And I do not doubt for one second that Armstrong Powerhouse have worked very hard on this. But it's like, you know, if you've already had the money, then it just seems a little bit cheeky asking for more. You know what I mean? Like, well, hang on, these people have already paid a, a premium for this route. Let's not forget it. It's about, what, 25 quid? I think that's about how much I paid. But, I mean, we're going back a few years now. I, I bought it when it first came out. There we go. Give them a little toot for the crossing. You know, there's there's a lot of people out there that are absolute avid uh, Armstrong Powerhouse supporters. And, you know, I, I agree with you. They're, they're fantastic at what they do. But, you know, I just think, well, they've got a lot of other products out there that are making them an awful lot of money. Let's not forget. And it, it just, it would be quite nice to give something back in terms of, look, there you go. Here's, here's an update. Isn't that wonderful for all you wonderful people? It, you know, it, that that's just my take on it. You might agree, you might disagree. You know, of course, do let me know what your thoughts are on that in the comments. I'm always interested. Uh, I don't always reply to everyone's comments because, quite frankly, I simply just don't have the time. I do really try um, to set time aside to go through and, and meticulously reply, but sometimes I just don't get a chance. So I am sorry about that, but I definitely do read all of the comments and, uh, you know... It's, it's always very interesting to hear people's views. <coughs> now, coming round and to read them now, this is painfully slow. Where are we? Oh, it might be read them. No, it won't be read them that I'm thinking of, because there is a bridge at read them. I mean, you can see it. There it is. Now, I think we had tea somewhere down here at read them. Maybe in a little pub. Doesn't that sound fantastic? I mean, that might be the money shot there. No, oh, hang on. A little bit of breaking. Just a little bit. How are we speeding up? It says zero to zero, meaning we are perfectly flat at the moment. Oh, look at that. Just just keeping it on the 20. Nice and steady. Nice and steady indeed. So this is, of course, the line from uh, Bernie Arms and Great Yarmouth joining us here. Ah, yeah, there we go. Nice and familiar now we're around here. Let's just give it a bit of a welly. At least up until the signal, anyway. And then we can slow back down again, can't we? I 
I know we're not really in a rush, are we? But it's just, it's always nice to just do a little bit of a, just make sure you're earlier rather than not. Because I, I do want to get a tick for the scenario. Purely from an OCD point of view. Uh, I definitely do like, um, I definitely do like there to be lots of neat little ticks in the, uh... oh, hang on, there we go. Oh, look at that, perfect, perfect. I like um, in the scenario, scenario chooser, scenario selector, I always like there to be lots of neat little ticks, you know, so they all looks very uniform, very neat. Of course, if you get a cross, you don't you don't get that tick there if you fail one of your objectives. Oh, hang on. Two car stop board. Heck, right. Oh, we might be going to the three car stop board. They'll all be chuntering because they have to walk down. But we are fully accommodated on the platform. All the doors are open. Um, there seems to be. I mean, will the doors open if we are on here? Because, I mean, we shouldn't stop on here because this is obviously disused platform. There's quite a lot of disused platform as well, isn't there? Um, but, yeah, it looks like from here that the train sim recognises part of this as a platform, which will be very interesting to know why that is. I don't know if that's just a mistake on, uh, on the developer's part or if that is, you know, that is expected. You know, that's meant to be like that. Who knows? Off we go. Full steam ahead. Go. Go, go. Oh, is there someone coming the other way? Oh, I thought that was the uh, the yellow front of another unit, but I think it might not be. It might be, might be some... Uh, I think it's just some scenery, actually. I mean, if it is the yellow front of another unit, he's on the wrong line. No, it's not. It's not even on the line, is it? It's a little building. little building of some sort. Maybe a hut. Although it looks like it's inside the, uh, inside the boundary fence of the rail. The, uh, the railway. Maybe a shipping container? Maybe a transformer box. I mean, it's not a signal box, is it? Maybe it's a loo, so if the driver gets caught short, you can, you can stop next to public conveniences. Let's have a look. Oh, it is a loo. Yeah, it is. Look, I reckon there's a loo in there. You can you can just pull up, you know, if, the, if there's no toilets on the train. You know, sometimes there are no toilets on the train, working toilets. You can just say to the passengers, right, hang on, there's, there's a toilet on the left here. We'll just, just make a stop, put the ladders down. There you go, madam, climb down. Uh, it, it just, and everyone sits looking out the window, staring at the bog until she's finished and then gets back on. I don't know why she's a woman. I just had a, the image of a little old lady uh, in her 80s climbing down some step ladders. Everyone's sitting there tapping their feet and looking at the watches because, you know, trains sat there. I mean, this is completely fictional. That would not happen in real life. But, I mean, there's no other explanation as to what that little building could be, is there? And I tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the Scarborough line between Seema and Moulton. There's a big straight section of track and there's a brewery on the left. And of course it's all semaphore around there anyway, isn't it, around Scarborough? I think it's actually colour light between Seema and Moulton. I think the semaphore's between Moulton and York. But yeah, it just reminds me of, uh, of this big brewery. I mean, the, there's not this thing coming over the top, but just, you know, the, the straight track, the, the brewery on the left, heading towards York, of course. Do you know the one I mean? There we go, coming into Cantley. I don't know if there's much that I can tell you about Cantley, to be honest with you, that's interesting. They've left some flipping rails in the middle of the line. 
Why do they never take them away? You see that quite often, don't you? <laughs> it's just left to rust in the middle of the line. It's like, oh, hang on, there's no skip on site. We forgot to bring one. Ah, uh, oh, we'll just leave mint middle, it'll be fine. There we go. We're actually going to stop at the two car board today at, uh, at Cantley. No, we're not. We're going past again. Flipping heck. There we go. Get them doors open. Let's have a look round. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a level crossing. Apparently a lot of these level crossings have been updated as well. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, Windows has come up with a notification. Oh, hang on. Where are we now? There we go. We're back. Sorry, Windows came up with a notification saying, Did you know it's somebody's birthday tomorrow? I'm like, yes. I did know. But obviously to cross the damn thing off, you've got to click it and then it minimises train simulator. Flipping thing. Right. <coughs> it was never the most imaginative of liveries, was it? Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Rightio. Oh, over the foot crossing at the end. Yeah, it's it's that this train looks brilliant, and I particularly mm. like the fact that the engines don't rev simultaneously because they never seem to. It's like when the driver puts the throttle on, it's like a signal travels down the train, and as it passes the engine, it, it spools up. But if you ever look on a sprinter, it's very rare that both engines will. Well, it doesn't seem to be the case anyway. I'm sure. Uh, it's probably the older they've got, the slower the signal travels. When they were new, it probably all worked really quick. I used to notice it as well, if you ever had like a 158 coupled to a 142, it, they, the two would just, you know, it'd just take a while for the signal to just reach the other end. Brundall being our next stop. Nice bit of jointed track again, just to keep us going. Well, currently, according to the screen recording software doohickey thingamajig, uh, we're currently getting exactly 60 FPS, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've, I've never really struggled with Train Simulator. It's always performed fairly well uh, for me. I know some people do struggle with it. I mean, since I got my new PC, we're, we're absolutely laughing when it comes to Train Simulator. Uh, most games are performing pretty well. I don't know what's happening with Transport Fever 2, to be honest with you, because when I've been playing it, it's uh, it's been working perfectly fine for me. So I don't know what's happening with that. I think it's the recording software. I think the computer's struggling to do the recording software and the game at the same time. And obviously it's prioritising the game, so I'm seeing it to be perfectly smooth, and you lot are seeing it to be lagging... Uh, you know, absolutely lag. Well, I mean, lagging's an understatement. Hell. Right, there we go. We'll just plod along at 60. There looks to be a station here. What's this? Well, whatever it is, we're not stopping. Oh, it's a dinky little thing, isn't it? Where are you? Buckingham. You can see, of course, at Buckingham, where there used to be a platform, I imagine. And obviously this used to go a lot further down here. Now it's just a walkway. It seems a little bit odd that they would, if we if we pop back down... I mean, the railway's a very odd industry, but it seems odd that they would keep that bit of platform rather than this bit of platform, you know, so you don't have as far to walk. I'm sure there'll be a reason. There always is a reason. Now, I mean, the railway, there's a lot of odd goings on on the railway, but there's usually a reason of some sort. I mean, sometimes it's just, well, because that's the way we've always done it. You know, and you're like, oh, right, okay. Another 156, hello. 
yeah, sometimes it's just a case of, well, that's the way we've always done it. But, uh, yeah, I wonder why. Uh, again, if you know the answer, do let me know. I don't imagine it's a well-publicised uh, thing. In fact, to be honest, you might not have even noticed. Time are we doing to Brundle? 8 or 9? Oh, well, we are running uh, exceptionally early. Well, exceptionally on time. It's good when there's a little bit of padding in the timetable, isn't it? So you can... Uh, you're not having to leg it about everywhere. So at Brundle, of course, we're going to join the line that comes from Akel. Just coming in on the right-hand side there. They do like a staggered platform on the wherry lines, don't they? You know, they they like the the staggered platform with the level crossing in between. I wonder what the uh, the reason behind that was then. There we go. We'll just come in nice and steady. No point rushing, is there? Because, like I say, rushing leads to mistakes. After uh, after Brundle, I think we're. We're straight through, aren't we? Straight through to Norwich. <coughs> Excuse me. Heck, have me... Uh, yeah, there we go. Is there anybody waiting at the level crossing? No, oh, just... Uh, well, I imagine that's meant to be a Ford Focus. It certainly is from the back. I don't know what it is from the front. I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of... I don't know. What car is that meant to be? I don't know what these are what these are meant to be at all. Who knows? Who knows? It is gonna seem weird the next time I don't know when I'm due to go down here on the wherry lines, but the next time I do go down here, it is gonna seem very, very weird that the Statler's running up and down. It uh it it just particularly Statler's with semaphore. You know, it just doesn't quite seem right that such a modern unit would be running under semaphore. But then again, I guess the same could be said about the 68s and Mark 5s. They run under semaphore, don't they, up at Scarborough? But yeah, the, the Statlers that run to London running under semaphore, it's just weird. It's just weird. I don't like change. Yeah, I just like things to stay the same. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, the railway is one of those industries that's always changing. No two days stay the same. There's always something changing on the railway, isn't there? Mm. Right, through to Norwich. Not stopping at Brundle Gardens, of course. I don't think any of the lower stops do. I think the Great Yarmouths both ways do. I mean, I don't think there's that many that go via Bernie Arms, to tell you the truth. I, I don't know the timetable often, you know, to tell you the truth. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, the lower stops don't seem to stop, except for at peak time. And the, uh, the Great Yarmouths do. It's kind of like in every other one, isn't it? But it strikes me as one of those stations that has a really irregular stopping pattern. You know, like, a, a train every 26 minutes. Every hour, every 26 minutes. There we go, Brundle Gardens. Mm. Oh, no jointed track. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's a shame we're not stopping. 
I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go as far as to say we're a semi-express service. We're just a local service still that's not stopped at two stations. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't say we're semi-express. I don't know what it is about these 156s, but I just don't really think... I mean, they suit the livery, but the Great Wrangler livery is not worn as well by these. The 170s, I think, look a lot better in it, and I think that's probably because the red doors are in the middle. You know, they're a third, two thirds, you know, rather than at the end of the carriages. There's this big, long section of white on these, isn't it, in between the two red doors? Whereas, obviously, you don't get that from the 170s. But as well, these don't have black around the windows, do they? Whereas the uh, all the London stuff, the intercities and the, the 90s, they all are black in between the windows, so they look quite sleek and quite modern. Whereas the 156s and the 153s never did. And I don't know I don't know why that is, to tell you the truth, because the 170s did, the Mark 3s did, like I say. Th there'll be a reason, maybe they just ran out of black paint, who knows. But... Um, but yeah, I, I just always think they look a little bit older. Oh, what's this? It looks like a 68. Give them a wave. Oh, with BR Blue coaches. Wow. And I didn't hear any of the engine as it went past, which for a 68, that is a little bit odd. Stick with notch two. We'll keep uh, keep plodding on on notch two, and we'll just flick up to notch three every now and then just to keep the power up. Oh no! Oh, what's happening? Oh, we're back. We're back. Just had a little wobble. And I believe that this is the uh, the line from Sheringham, I believe. There's too many I believes there, isn't there? I believe uh, a lot of things. But yeah, I think that this is the line from Sheringham on the right there. That's just joined us, because that kind of is kind of that way. Looking at the route map, there's not really anywhere else that Sheringham can be. Oh, and I do like this section where you're just plodding along. And you've got this nice lake glistening next to you. Or is it a river? It's the Norfolk Broads. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there is a boat on it down there. But you've got this nice... Uh, it's just shimmering, isn't it, in the light. Really, really does look good. I mean, credit where credit's due. It's an absolutely superb room. It really is a superb room. Right, what time are we due in? 8.20? Oh, we've got bags of time. We've got time absolutely oozing out of our ears. Course we're, uh, we're coming up to the Norwich Depot there, on the left. I wonder if we'll see anything. I wonder if there's any trains in. go into platform four by the looks of things but you see what I mean there we go in case you didn't know what I was on about you see there's white in between the windows and I think that makes it look quite old-fashioned whereas if you look the London stock has the black round the window and that looks quite sleek and modern see what I mean now yeah maybe maybe you never noticed that maybe Joe has educated you in the way you see there's no 15 board there is there have I just missed it yeah, you see, there's no... I don't know, is there meant to be a 15 board there? Should there, should there be something? Who knows? Right, now, we didn't get... We've got a yellow signal on platform 4. There's another signal round here. 
So we'll just be uh, we'll just be a little bit vigilant. Oh, I'm pressing tab and there's no. Uh, it's not saying signal past danger, or past signal at danger. Oh, it's because it's a position light. That's why. Got the little dolly to go into platform four. Which way we're going straight on, yeah. I don't know the station, to be honest with you. Um, I know that there's something about uh, the East Midlands, they say Lime Street, Liverpool, rather than Liverpool, Lime Street, because all, uh, all the people from Norfolk were getting confused, all the Norwich people. Uh, they were getting on the Liverpool train for London, Liverpool Street, and it was like, no, 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 this is... I mean, how you get that thing confused with a 158 is anybody's guess. That thing to the left of us, the 90 with the Mark 3s. Who knows how you get that confused, and perhaps if you do, you deserve to be on the wrong train, but uh, yeah, East Midlands, they were getting on the East Midlands 158s, so they've changed all the boards, it's the only place in the country that does it, they say Lime Street Liverpool, instead of Liverpool Lime Street. It must be the Liverpool Street, they're ignoring the lime in the middle, Liverpool Street, they're, uh, they're just associating and getting on it for London. Yeah, fun little Joe trivia fact there for you. Right, yeah, well, that is where this train terminates, and it's where our video's going to finish. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And do make sure that if you haven't already, that you subscribe so you never miss out on any future Train Simulator videos. Also, if you have subscribed, make sure that notification bell's ticked so you never, uh, oh, so that it tells you. So it tells you when there's new videos. Even better. You don't even have to do the legwork. Right, yes, there we go. Lowest off to Norwich. Let me know in the comments what you think, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.